Yo, so we back with another video. As always, drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'm gonna keep it real short. The off season has been dry, but I wanna talk about some more trades. So let's talk about some more trades. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let's hop straight into it. All right, here y'all have it. New NBA trade ideas for latest, new trade ideas from latest NBA rumors and buzz. Wow. So I'm gonna leave the article in the description if y'all wanna check it out for yourselves. And we're gonna check out the article. It shouldn't be too long. I think I saw about like four potential trades that could happen. And yeah, I'm gonna read through it, give out my opinion, and let's hop straight into it. We don't really read, need to read none of this. We already know. Yeah, we, like, we don't want none of that. Uh, okay, first trade LA and Brooklyn swap stars. We knew that's uh, probably, well, that's been one of the main rumors of the uh, offseason so far. Let's see what they got to say. The trade Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving for AD and Russell Westbrook, and the 2027 20, first round pick and protected wall. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving is kind of ridiculous. If, if we're being real here, there's no way that's happening. And we just got news today that Kevin Durant said it's either him or uh, Steve Nash and Sean Marks. He said, uh, not Sean Marks, is it Sean Marks? One of them, yeah, he was like, you pick me or you pick them, they gotta go. But let's see what they say. But again, uh, like we knew it was probably Russell Westbrook for Kyrie Irving, but KD and Kyrie for eight, that's never happening if we're being real here but let's see the front office of the lakers and brooklyn have seemingly been circling each other and Kyrie over potential trade all summer we know that the money part of the equation isn't hard to figure out westbrook and his 47.1 minute salary would have to be involved regardless of whether brooklyn would keep him or buy him out after the trade sticking the sticking point seems to be how much draft capital la sends the lakers don't want to give up multiple first round picks in the trade russell westbrook according to uh hoops hype but what if the framework was expanded to include KD and Davis? They should offer Davis and Westbrook and NBA Insider told Bleacher Report. Uh, try, try to get Kevin Durant for KD, KD for AD. And a pick is as close as the Nets will get on what they want. The result is with a team with LeBron James, KD, and Kyrie. Okay, first of all, think about that. LeBron James, KD, and Kyrie. Wow, okay, might even be worth more than the Lakers who seemingly always in title or bust mode. Davis is a big concussion, a big concession, but he will turn 30 in March as long as troubling injury history. Durant is arguably scarier and he'll be 34 in September. Wow, KD's getting old. I didn't know KD was that old. But he raises LA short term selling higher than AD and he's a better theoretical fit next to LeBron. That is true. The final evolution of the Kings game could include more possessions starting in the post. And the, and the presence of Davis make that a little tougher. Durant is the kind of player who will um, be draining jumpers, let their layups well after his playing days are behind him. Uh, the kind of spacing he could provide in LeBron's twilight years will be invaluable. The upgrade and fit from Westbrook to Kyrie is even easier to see. Of course it is. Uh, he won uh, a title alongside LeBron, and he's demonstrated a greater willingness to uh, see control of offense than Russ. For Brooklyn... This didn't only make sense if Durant is dead, said on leaving, or or sitting out until his trade demands honor. We just we we heard some news about that today, and even though it doesn't include a pick haul or part of what the Utah Jazz have Rudy Gobert is also a headline of far way better than players the Minnesota Timberwolves sent. Yes, Davis had to sit out one more than his fair share of games, and this uh, and his production has been a bit of a free for all since 2019-20. But he's an eight-time All Star and a four-time All NBA selection, assuming he can. Stay healthy and bold. I know uh, he's an instant uh, identity center on defense, and he's under contract with 2024-25, which the player options of Brooklyn will have a bit of wiggle room, which to build around. Crazy trade. Uh, now we know a healthy AD is a scary monster, but this is kind of a like this is kind of a ridiculous trade in my opinion. KD and Kyrie for AD and Russell Westbrook. Now the only thing wrong with that is it's never going to happen. It's literally it that like that would break the like uh, that would break the NBA world. Uh, uh, like uh, like that's not supposed to happen. And then again, Russell Westbrook. I don't know how many teams are willing to actually let Russell play. Like uh, like don't get me wrong. I feel like Russell has a lot left in him, but I don't know how many teams are willing to actually like keep Russ on the team if you know what I mean I, I think it, like Russell Westbrook is the only hard part about this and what's been a hard part about all season is Russell Westbrook it's like you don't know what you're getting with Russell Westbrook so but yeah that's still a ridiculous trade Hornets go all in for Mitchell uh, at this point the Hornets 
are uh, looking to be like they're going to be a bottom seeded team for for a, a few years. Like, like they have Lamelo, who's probably going to be an All Star over and over again. Uh, the whole Miles Bridges thing is very unfortunate, and just when like, they start to look like, like, like they were going to be good, something like this happens. And they, like I said, they still got Lamelo Ball, but they're not really playing for anything. If we're going to be real here, so this is what you got to say: the trade, Donovan Mitchell for Terry Rozier, James Book Knight, a 2023 first round pick. Okay, so let's just do first one, one first round pick. What's it? So four first round picks. In my opinion, that's not enough. Um, Terry Rozier is good. James Book and I, we didn't even get to see him play really in the rotation, so we don't know. But I guess the maybe the first round picks make up for that. And seeing that like they want to go into rebuilding mode, are they willing to give up Donovan Mitchell for so much? Uh, I mean, well, just give up Donovan Mitchell. So let's see. The likely less outcome of the Mitchell saga seems that he'll end up with the Knicks for sure. The Salt Lake City Tribune wrote that overwhelming feeling among league insiders that Mitchell is likely signed outside of Utah, the first availability opportunity in 2025. Mitchell is considered New York home. Uh, Laz well, Lazarus continues. Mitchell has spent the majority of his offseason in the Knicks this year. He's skilled trainer. Chris Brickley, I would race out of the gym in the city. It makes sense that he'll be interested in living there full time. But what if that just means the Knicks will be a hesitant to include significant draft conversation for a player that can uh wait to sign outright three years is a way is a ways away but the amount of picks utah to poorly demand it is daunting so it is understandable for the knicks uh to be proceeding with at least a hint of caution as it does utah seems to be looking elsewhere the, the utah jazz continue conversation with other teams that are interested in mitchell the atlanta and stadium sham sharm uh shams said on the rally teams like charlotte and washington i'm told washington I, that's my first time hearing about washington uh, if the New York Knicks want to haggle over a top face protection attached to those, because the Charlotte Hornets swoop in with four of their own to pair Mitchell with another ball, that'd be an interesting duo. I like it, but it'd be interesting. That's what offer will be about, other than Ball, who they're not trading. There isn't a ton of young talent on the roster. Adding Mark Williams would be a redundant after Walker Kessler went to Utah in the Gor uh, Rudy Gobert deal. And after an underwhelming rookie season, James Book Knight is mostly a uh, filler. Credit, I'm gonna defend James Book Knight here. Uh, we didn't get to see him play that much, honestly. Uh, uh, like, he barely had any minutes, and from what I saw, so mm, that's just me defending James Book Knight. Just just because, uh, Roger, though, a good player in the right situation, mostly to satisfy the collection and bargaining agreement trade rules. Again, this deal is about picks and the rebuilding Utah Jazz. And if the Hornets can beat the Knicks, the best offer, most unlikely, Utah might go for it. Charlotte's interested in Mitchell, meanwhile, is a little harder to grasp than New York. Yes, he can certainly make the Hornets better in the short term. He and Ball are interested in the theoretical fit, thanks in a part of the 6'7 uh, ball size. But mostly, but Mitchell probably won't make the title contenders. Uh, if the assets cut board to go play in range slightly above, it's quite a risk taking. It would be depending large on the ball can reach top 10 ish status in the league, which isn't unreasonable. Honestly, uh, I'm not. I don't really care for this trade because getting Donovan Mitchell doesn't make the uh, the Charlotte Hornets title contenders. It it just doesn't happen. That's just literally something like like they are literally uh, playing for nothing and just empty space at this point. All right, and then we have a Warriors trade. Now this is uh, something that's been coming up uh, over the horizon for the uh, past uh, couple weeks or so. Like everybody uh understand that draymond is like the warriors future is kind of like all up in the air here. like they have a, a big money issue with their but i think they're already like a luxury tax team if i believe so don't uh like quote me too hard on that i'm not really into like that stuff like that but i do believe they are uh like they have some money issues going on over there so and i think draymond is a big part of that because he i think he has to get paid i believe but let's see the trade draymond green the 2026 first round pick for John Collins. Hmm. A John Collins trade. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Wasn't expecting that one. Um, put this in one, uh, put this in one almost certainly won't happen category. Draymond Green is very much part of the fabric of the Golden State Warriors dynasty that has secured four championships. The, yeah, they are a luxury they luxury tax. Their luxury tax bills get more absurd every year. And giving Draymond the max extension he wants will only add to that according to athletic okay um the total cost of that roster will soar to 
564 million if everyone gets paid but breaking up the core feels even wilder yes because i do believe if i'm uh not mistaken i believe stephen curry is the highest paid player in the league this year coming up i i like i said again don't quote me on that but i do believe he is the highest paid player still according to slater and thomas green wants his four-year 134 138.4 million extension and if he doesn't get it from the Warriors, he is said to be willing to explore his outside options to get this kind of contract that he wants now that's very interesting because i'm an avid listener of draymond green's podcast and like he's been open like a lot that that he he really doesn't care like he really wants to stay and go to state because like he feels like this is like really like his home brotherhood and, and, and like you can tell Jeremiah is a really loyal person so that's interesting to hear but you never know how people really are really feeling but that's that's my first time hearing that does all this mean the trade could eventually be on the table as hard as imagine green elsewhere the possibility of a move at least exists and there's another player who's been in and out of the trade rumors for the last couple years you might make sense in this place John Collins isn't uh, as good as Draymond right now, particularly on defense. But he, but he's eight years younger and under contract with 25, 26 plus. The last year of the deal, player option is set to pay Collins less than where Draymond's salary will start on the extension he's after. Uh, the Warriors would have to play differently with Collins at the four. He is not the same level of creator for others. And again, the defensive uh, identity of the team would completely change or disappear without Green. Collins is the better. Whoa, okay, Collins. Hello. What? What? Collins is a better shooter, though. 37.6% from his, uh, three from his career. He's a much springer as a role man or a receiver out of the dunker spot. Being 24 also means there's some room for growth as a playmaker and defender. Draymond almost certainly on the other side of his prime. So why would the Atlanta Hawks do this? Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. Why do, why do the Atlanta Hawks make this trade? Because I think Draymond can help out any team, but why, why the Atlanta Hawks, though? I'm assuming it is obviously it's a money thing. So uh, for one thing, they'll get the first round pick for a player that's seemingly been trying to move for a long time. And though Green may be on the decline, he's instantly added credibility to a defense uh, that has struggled in the, in the Trey Young era. Suddenly, Atlanta will have a, a three high-end defenders in the Jonte Murray, Clinton Fellow, and Draymond Green, possibly four if DeAndre Hunter hits his potential. And the wealth of passing ability from Young, Murray and Green opens up intriguing possibilities on the other end. Okay, I thought it was a money thing, but clearly not. But we all know that's never going to happen. Literally, it won't never happen. Now, another LeBron James trade. Okay. Another LeBron James trade. Let's see. The trade LeBron James for Kevin Love, Jerry Allen, 2024 first round pick, and the 2026 and 2028 this no no it, it it won't happen i don't know where they're hearing this rumors from from like i don't know what execs are saying stuff like this but really really now no, come on man okay wow now i really want to read into this right here okay, that's ridiculous uh all rights were uh really getting weird this feel okay no all right we're, now we're really getting weird wow this feels even less likely than draymond move because it is and it only exists in a world where the lakers don't get lebron a little more help this offseason but it can't be discredited entirely espn's brian Wind, uh windhorse who's who, who's been goaded for the past month or so like come on shout out brian windhorse who's done about as much reporting on lebron's career as anyone already mentioned the possibility of him signing with the cleveland cavaliers in 2023 i i, I haven't heard of that before okay and the Lakers can't beef up their roster or come to an agreement on a station with LeBron James this summer. Rich Paul told ESPN the two sides have productive talks in the matter. Wow. Whoa. So, they, so they've been talking. Okay. They might have seriously considered moving him. As ridiculous as it seems, it beats the possible alternative for losing him for nothing. It does in free agency. So why not engage in the Cavs ideal starting by asking for Sally Philly, Evan Mobley, and four, four or five picks when Cleveland says nah, which is way for 2023. The Lakers can back off a bit, and if they end up with, with a 24-year-old all-star and three or four picks, they can at least sell the fans on the being preferred to not losing outright, lose him outright. For Cleveland, though, it's built something organically that may be painful to break up. The organization owes a lot. To James and he's ended a decade-long title drought for the city 
and brought relevance to the franchise that had never reached the heights it did with him. LeBron James' whole hometown is ushering him to end his Hall of Fame career with Darius Garland, Mobius, assuming he wouldn't be in the deal. And oh, say, Bronny James would make for a charming final chapter. Now, now this literally won't happen, but, 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 but hear me out. LeBron has clearly came out, well, like he's said it before, and he's standing his ground on that. Whatever team Bronny gets drafted to within the next coming, like, what three like what two three years or something like that he is willing to go to that team that's the only way lebron is leaving the lakers in any circumstances that i believe so yeah this won't happen but if it if it happens to be cleveland you can't even be mad at it because lebron cleveland you, you know the story you know how it goes but yeah so like there we have it uh a lot of a lot of interesting stuff and draymond green very interesting uh both lebron um, but lebron james won and um the kd and kyrie ad still kind of trying to wrap my mind around that one but that was very interesting but hey as always if you enjoyed the video drop a like subscribe leave a comment i'm gonna catch you next video we out of here peace yes sir